A congressional committee reveals video of the Capitol insurrection never seen before. A new look from inside the violent attack, highlighting the effort to overturn the 2020 election. The video is one of the most stunning moments of a two-hour primetime hearing. Lawmakers began laying out their case against Donald Trump and his enablers in the lies about the election results. Committee members say in the weeks ahead, they will reveal more evidence in what they call a coordinated effort to overthrow our democracy by blocking the peaceful transfer of power. Alan Janae here tonight. We know, Alan, the evidence has been trickling out for several weeks right now, but I guess we're starting the big reveal at this point. Yeah, this is a, a new look at a lot of it. This committee of seven Democrats and two Republicans started with a look ahead at much of what they'll cover. Now, the video showed some of the frightening moments, but also brought up some of the most damning of the president's actions and inactions leading up to it and that day. The select committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol will be in order. Chairman Mississippi Congressman Not Benny Thompson opened the hearing outlining the committee's work. January 6th was the culmination of an attempted coup. Thompson included Raising a portion of an interview with President Trump's own Attorney General, Bill Barr, relating what sort of he told Mr. Trump about claims of election fraud. I made it clear I did not agree with the idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was bull****. He also played interviews with participants who believed it. I did believe, you know, that the election was being stolen. Um, and Trump asked us to come. Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney brought up lawyer John Eastman, who at the time was a visiting scholar on conservative thought at the CU Boulder campus and advising the president. She quoted from a judge who said the president's pressuring of Vice President Pence likely violated criminal statutes. If Dr. Eastman and President Trump's plan had worked, it would have permanently ended the peaceful transition of power undermining American democracy and the Constitution. Then, in a video showing some of the worst of the attack, the committee shared the brutality at the Capitol. The Get up. Among those injured, Capitol Police Officer Caroline Edwards was one of two people to testify. There were officers on the ground, um, you know, they were bleeding, they were throwing up. I had been called names before but never had my patriotism or duty been called into question. Wyoming's Liz Cheney and Illinois Congressman Adam Kinzinger were the only Republicans on the committee. Now others have avoided and or derided its work. Cheney delivered a message to those Republican colleagues saying they were defending the indefensible and that their dishonor, she said, would remain after Donald Trump is gone. The next hearing on this will be Monday at noon. Jim. All right, Alan, thanks. For